What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sintin, and welcome to your December 2021 love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, welcome once again. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you interact with the content, meaning that you comment or share, just to let YouTube know that you enjoy this kind of content. If you are not new here, welcome back, and thank you all so much for your support thus far. You are greatly helping the channel grow, you don't even know, and I am very appreciative. So thank you all so much. Um, if you all are interested in personal readings, head on over to SavvySynthia.com. That is the only place where you can book a personal reading and the only place where I'm doing my holiday sale. I will put some coupon codes and the link to the website in the description box below. And if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media, the direct me link, which contains all of my social media, will be in the description box below as well. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, Pisces. Uh, like I said, this is the Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so we're going to put an overall energy for you in this reading. What's the overall energy for Pisces? We'll also pull a love oracle, well, a couple of oracles. Your person's energy, your energy, the mutual energy, and advice. Okay, so we have two cards coming out for you, Pisces. <laughs> so we have the Lover's card as well as the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence, okay? Um, typically, it's independent wealth, like entrepreneurial energy, but this can also be independent stability, happily single. We also have the Lover's card here, which is a card of choice. Uh, this card also represents principles and values, things that are in alignment with you. Um, so you could be making a choice to be single, okay? because that is just what is in alignment with you at this time. But let's let's see, let's not be too abrupt. <laughs> All right, so love oracle for Pisces. Love oracle for Pisces. Oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right, this is your oracle and it says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Girl, choosing to be alone, independent energy. I mean, spirit be right on, like, what can I say? Baby, no, baby, no. All right, let's do a few more oracles for you with the Island Time Wellness deck. Messages for Pisces, please. Two more, please. Two more, please. Okay. All right, Pisces. So the first one that comes out says, Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition with the coffin card. All right. The next one says, Clock. Needs time, takes time, in time, cycles, heal, and progress. All right, and the final card says, hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand, and gambling. Okay, so, so far, it looks like there's been an ending here. Um, and you're choosing, you may have been the one to choose to end it because you're needing time to be alone. Um, something that I see commonly with Pisces is that you all hop from relationship to relationship instead of being alone. So the fact that you made this choice is definitely some high vibrational Pisces shit. Um, really self-aware type of uh, energy. And... If that is your story, if that is you, then friend, I am proud of you. <laughs> I am proud of you, friend. Okay, so the person that this is all in reference uh, to, um, the person who you're connected to, let's see what their energy is towards you in the connection at this time. Pisces person, five of pentacles, they feel left out in the cold. They feel abandoned. Okay. Feeling insecurity and lack. Ooh. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of change, transition. Um, but it is also a card of luck moving in their favor. So even though they're sad about it, um, they may be feeling like it was for the best. We have the Nine of Wands. The relationship itself could have been pretty uh, tumultuous. This is the Wounded Warrior card, uh, constantly going through battles, getting bumped, getting bruised. This can indicate feeling trapped. So you letting them go could have uh, made them feel like a, a sense of freedom. And the Emperor card. The Emperor is a paternal divine masculine energy. Uh, this is also a very solution-oriented energy. Uh, the, the emperor is always going to find a way out of no way. Uh, this is boss energy. Okay. Um, so that may be how they look at you. Like you, you pulled the plug, you made the decision. And even though it hurts them, even though they are feeling some type of lack, they know that it is for the best. Uh, they were most likely tired of going through the motions. All right, how do you feel about this situation, Pisces? How do you feel about this, Pisces? Too many. Oh, so many want to flip. Um, Pisces, we have the Seven of Cups as how you feel. Now, the Seven of Cups is a card of options. It is a card of choices. Um imagination being with your with your head in the clouds as well uh this is a very um <laughs> this is very much your energy pisces this energy is very um dreamy okay like you might not be seeing things clearly but coming out with that is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is very emotionally stable, emotionally balanced, presents it so, and is highly intuitive. It came out with the Seven of Cups. So I'm feeling like uh, what has happened is that you've gained some type of clarity um, emotionally. You've really come to your emotional senses. Um, let's get some more. How does Pisces feel about this connection? And you're ready for new stability. Okay, new beginnings, new foundations. Um, I kind of feel like you are, yeah, with the Ten of Swords. This, um, the Ten of Swords is painful endings. Uh, but of course, every ending brings a new beginning. And the way that you are, um, I feel like this is really all about you getting down to the root of whatever issues it is that you have emotionally. Um, I kind of feel like you are letting this person go, not because you didn't love them, but because it's the right thing to do because you are not where you need to be emotionally. And you have tapped into your, um, into your, highest level of intuition to even dig that out like to even have that type of consciousness uh to even have that understanding that like this is not right i'm not whole i'm not healed and i'm holding on to this person and sending them through all the things that i'm sending them through and it's just not right so you decided to go off and be on your own that is very impressive Pisces. <laughs> very impressive so, so many people would selfishly hold on to um, someone just because they didn't want to lose them. The mutual energy is the Four of Wands in the reverse. Four of Wands is homecoming energy, um, twin flame energy, could be marriage as well. Um, the mutual energy, you're flipping all that over. Like you're moving away from what is home, what is safe, what is comfortable. And the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is uh, inspiration, a spark, an idea. And what the, the mutual energy is saying here is that you've had an idea that you have to come away from this. 
All right, and it looks like you're following it through. Um, this person may still have some passion for you, uh, even though this is this has happened. Even though they feel like their world has been flipped upside down, they still have a, a spark for you. So maybe in the future, this is something that could be revisited. But right now, I really feel like you're doing the right thing, Pisces. And this is very mature of you. Um, is there anything I need to clarify? Mm, no, it looks pretty straightforward. I'm personally very impressed. I don't know about nobody else. All right, but let's go ahead and get some monology messages for you, Pisces. Monology for Pisces. Monology for Pisces. Monology for Pisces. Okay, so um, the very first card that comes out is the full moon in Aries. Full moon in Aries is a fiery climax approaches. So if you have not yet cut the cord, um, the energy may be there. They may be feeling it coming. You know it's there. It's may have, You may have talked about it before, but not really cut the cord. Um, but when it happens, even though everyone here is on the same page that this needs to happen, it may um, be a bit of a production. <laughs> um, this person may have a hard time accepting it, even though they've accepted it, even though they know it's for the best. Um, but it may get a little spicy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, but at the end of the day, new moon and cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. Everyone in the situation is going to be safe. And this is just honestly the best thing for you all to do because a win-win outcome is forecast. Everyone wins in this situation, even though it may feel for one in Libra that um, it may feel unfair at the moment or it may feel difficult in the moment, but it's what needs to happen and it will work out in everyone's favor, even the person who's getting the boot, um, Will of Fortune. So let's go ahead and get some rebel messages for you. All right, rebel, rebel. Talk nice or don't, I don't care. Tell Pisces what they need to hear. Tell Pisces what they need to hear. Tell Pisces what they need to hear. Okay. So the very first card that comes out says love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Now, removing yourself from the situation, it doesn't have to be angry. It doesn't have to be abusive, but it can be done in love, okay? So try to keep that in the forefront of your mind um, as you navigate the situation. The next one says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Self-explanatory. You are the best thing that has ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink. Come on, independent, single energy. You don't need nobody buying you no know, drinks. And finally, make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Okay? And you've chosen to do just that. So kudos. Kudos to you. All right, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Oh, oh. Advice for Pisces. Do I need advice for Pisces? All right. So, the advice, Pisces. We have the Two of Cups, <laughs> we have the Justice card, uh, and we have the High Priestess. Now, the Two of Cups is a card of soulmate energy. This is a card of partnerships. We also have the High Priestess, which is a card of spirituality, sensuality, intuition. And we have the Justice card, balance, cause and effect, karmic justice. All right, so as it pertains to this situation, the advice here is this. What you are doing is absolutely the right thing. You are trusting your intuition um, as the King of Cups. You're trusting your intuition and you are doing what is best for the two of you all in this union. 
The way that you go about it, though, justice, cause and effect. Like I said earlier, you can do this thing from a place of love. It doesn't have to be angry. It doesn't have to be violent or abusive. If you want good things to happen for you and to you, then you're going to handle this situation with love so that what you attract moving forward comes from love. What you attract moving forward will be blessings versus turmoil and curses, okay? So your advice here is do what you need to do. Absolutely. But make sure that you do it from a place of love and do it from a place where your karma is not going to be fucked up, okay? Move with love. All right, Pisces? So this is your reading. This is your advice. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Check out SavvySentian.com for personal readings and other merch. And until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and life and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.